There's a massive pandemic going on right now. We're all stuck inside during lockdown and all the rental houses have closed during quarantine. So we don't really have access to any of the equipment. So what better way to spend lockdown than build a giant ass rig on capture and connect Resloom to it. So to all my VJ friends out there or to any lighting designers that would like to learn Resloom, here is how to connect Resloom Arena to Capture. This will work with Capture 2019 or Capture 2018 or any Capture versions, so you'll be fine watching this tutorial. So make sure to sit back, relax, and let's get this tutorial started. So here we are on Resloom, and uh, what I've got is just a simple test card and my logo up. So first off, what you've got to do is click Output, advanced and then you've got to select the device to NDI you can also change the width and the height uh, of the output uh, and the input uh, as well uh, if you want to it's totally up to you uh, but we won't talk about that right now so if we click save and close now what we've well this is also something else that you can do uh, it's something that I usually do as well uh, just to make sure everything is okay so if you click output network streaming uh, NDI you can have this selected as well uh, but what that will do is show the composition on capture as well so without selecting that if we go over to capture real quick and if you select media as you can see it's already showing up but if we go back to Resloom real quick click output and select network streaming if we go back to capture you can see it's actually showing the composition as well so what we'll do is we'll just output the screen for now uh, so to output to a screen on capture what you need to do is first off select a screen so I am on the tutorial show file that I use for my live streams and tutorials so if we select the screen and if we first go over to design materials add a new material and just call this video so if we go to media and make sure this is selected as composition or screen one so I'm just going to select screen one for now and usually I have my colors to a minimum here this is really like the intensity as well because sometimes it can get really bright and you weren't able to see what's going on on the screen because it's that bright so if we select the video material now go over to the screen make sure it's selected now it's on the screen what we need to do is click the settings cog map material select the settings cog again map to extents and you can see it's kind of already mapped out if you want you can map it on capture on however you want so you can go like that uh, or however you want it but I'm just gonna go like this for now so it's on the edge of the screen there we go or you can just like map to extents which is just does it automatically for you now if we click live it is now connected to capture so you can you can see as well that it's already kind of bright uh, and what you can do is change the intensity on Resolume or Capture. Uh, so yeah. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe and also turn notifications on. That would be very much appreciated. And also if you're watching this during quarantine, I'm actually streaming every Tuesday and Thursday at 4pm Great British time. So make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching. Check out the social media links down below and I'll see you in the next video.